ESU Volleyball with head coach Allison Keeley's Warriors go 3-1 and one at this weekend's ESU Invitational. I uh, just want to ask you to open up, you know, kind of how did you feel your team performed this weekend? I was pretty excited with the way we performed. I wasn't really sure what to expect. We have 10 new people on the team, and uh, we've been working really hard and trying to learn a new system, but it's not easy when you're trying to put that many people together. But uh, I thought they played very well. I was excited. Uh, you were 2-0 and on Friday with a five-set win over Mercy uh, in your opener and a 3-0 win over Sciences. Um, what did you take out of those two matches? I think just getting our feet under us for the first game, and we also had to establish some leadership. Um, Ali Preziosi and Annabelle Charlton both set and hit for us, so they touch a lot of balls on the court. So just them getting confident in their role as leaders and understanding how their consistency helps us to be successful, uh, I think was really the lesson of those two games, and they did a great job. Especially in the match against Mercy, you went down 1-0, and then you went down 2-1, and came back and won the fourth, and then talk about the fifth set you really came out and, and dominated the play for the first 10 points. Again, I think it came down to consistency. It was the first match of the season for both teams, and the first couple of games were kind of marked by inconsistency and errors, and then I think they served very well and consistent. They blocked aggressively. They, they kept the ball in play, and that kind of led us to Mercy forced a lot of errors. Um, so we finished strong. We felt good about it. Uh, earlier today, um, a 3-0 loss in LeMoyne uh, scores quite close, uh, like 25-22, kind of in that range. Um, and then finished with a 3-0 win over Georgia Court to finish 3-1. and one. Um, Again, just it's overall your impressions of today's matches. I thought we played well even the match we lost. Uh, LeMoyne was a little cleaner. They passed the ball a little better, uh, which opened up three hitters for them. Um, they swung very well. They played very consistent. And we competed well. Uh, I just think we were a little outmatched hitting-wise at some point during the game. Um, then finished with the win over Georgian Court tonight, and uh, in the win, um, Annabelle Charlton with her second triple double of the weekend. She opened with one against Mercy with uh, 18 kills, 17 assists, 10 digs, and then tonight, 11 kills, 10 assists, 10 digs, and that's kind of what she did for you a lot of last year, also with four triple doubles. It is. She's definitely our leader this year, and um, she's very aggressive. She's a good competitive player. Um, she likes to be, she likes to go up and take all those swings. Uh, it's not an easy job. Mm -hmm. Um, especially when we don't have a lot of middle working right now to take the block off of her. Um, but I thought she competed very hard and did a really nice job for us. Um, and Allie, as you said too, um, it set her 66 assists over the weekend. Um, right in, in the range of double figure digs each match and, and also contributing um, on the attack end as well. Yeah, Allie's um, our captain and she's our senior and uh, she's kind of heart and soul, a lot of good energy on the team. And she's just played really well for us, so we're looking forward to her having a great year this year. Uh, coming into the season, you thought one of your strengths would be on the defensive side, and, and you've got Maddie Hutchison back, who had a great season at Libero last year, and then working in Haley Mork, who had been at Libero the previous year before she was injured. Um, how did you see all your defensive players coming together? Um, Haley and Maddie definitely kept us in the game, especially with our first tournament. So if we struggled putting the ball down, uh, they just kept putting the ball back up for us to try again and again. Um, they're, they really keep this team going. Um, we've got a few other defensive players. Freshman Abby Hawk came in, and she's a really nice passer. And junior Aaron Rothrock did a really good job on defense. So those are two new players to our defensive scheme. Um, Haley Mork didn't play much. She didn't play at all last year. Um, so she's really come out as a, but she started as a Libra leader before. So she's really come out as an emotional leader after a year off and, and coming back and working with Maddie. And I think all four of them work very cooperatively as opposed to competitively. So it's kind of a neat mix out there. Uh, you've got a mix of, uh, of five or six returners along with, as you said, the, the ten newcomers. Um, and a bunch of them played a lot of key points for you. Just talk about a couple of them. They did. Well, we have uh, Elizabeth Higley played basketball here. and She's coming out as a junior to play volleyball and has done a really nice job. Hannah Bergen is a freshman for us, also playing in the middle. So we have two new people in the middle. Um, they did a solid job blocking today. That was our kind of their goal just to get in front of a hitter and get their hands over the net and not lose a lot of points. Consistently working on their offense, we're going to work them in a little bit, little by little as the season goes on. Um, Sydney Galuzas came in on the outside for us, and she's a very physical uh, kid, hits the ball very hard, did a nice, big kid did a really nice job blocking for us. So I think those three are probably the primary newcomers, and then we have a slew of people that are right behind them that are playing well, um, that aren't quite ready to come off the bench, but will be soon. A uh, couple more weeks until you get into uh, conference play, but what does your team have to do? Maybe one or two things to uh, be able to continue to progress and get ready for the PSAC. We need to keep improving our attack. Um, right now we're running, running a pretty simple attack. 
Um, we need to make our offense a little more sophisticated. And then we need to learn a little more on our defense. We have a couple people, the returners just generally know what they're doing, but there's so many different scenarios for the new people that it's just going to take time to learn what to do in what situation. So better defense and, and better offense. I guess that's about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've got uh, two matches next week and a try match and a couple of midweek matches before you uh, start the conference schedule. So three and one start, and uh, good luck the next couple weeks. Thank you very much.